the chicken plow. Uh, you tell me what, the, what else is on the menu, please, sir, for today. There's a new recipe for a delicious looking dish called orange juice casserole, and it does not use eggplant as one of the ingredients. The ingredients it does use are as follows. Orange juice, potato peels, and goat skin. The instructions say to put an unmeasured amount of orange juice, an unmeasured amount of potato peels, and the skin of a male goat into a casserole dish and place them in the oven. Male goat specifically because it has a bell end, and that's where the eggnog comes from. The scrotum is the best cut of skin for the casserole. The next step is to stretch the goat skin over the top of it like a pie crust, and add a few drops of eggnog on top of it. There's a matter of what temperature you set your oven to, because most ovens won't go to a temperature of 666 degrees, which happens to be the ideal temperature to cook this casserole. Some ovens will only go up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you set it to clean and put a thermometer in there... This is what we're working with right now. This is what's going on here. This is what it looks like. Got to run some wires around and find a home for another resistor. Shortly before the thermometer breaks, it'll actually register 666 degrees. Finally, remove the casserole from the oven when it is crisp and golden brown. Let it cool for a bit, serve, and enjoy. Eggnog gets its name from the word noggin, being synonymous with the word head. Throughout the history of languages, there have been adaptations, misinterpretations, and mispronunciations. Perhaps nog was once knob. So now the cathodes of these diodes are all bridged together the way they're supposed to be. See, just solder bridge. Easy enough. The tradition of drinking eggnog comes from not being able to go outside because you're snowed in. When adults are alone indoors together, they get a little frisky, and some of them like to drink eggnog. Therefore, a correlation between Chris Kringle and his big red dangle and the tradition of drinking eggnog can be observed. Chris Kringle and his big red dangle, in the old religion, was actually a goat man who wore a red suit, and a goat man does produce eggnog and bears a large scrotum. It can be discerned through iterations of various medieval drawings, where a goat scrotum would be interpreted as a large hanging beard. They want him to believe that uh, you can be your own god and eat green eggs and ham anywhere and anyhow. <laughs> they want him to think they're their own gods, and they can do anything with green well, they can, they can eat green, green eggs and ham. I don't know if they make them believe that there's no God or not. Gives them a God complex because it makes them think they can do anything they want with green eggs and ham. Yeah. I, mean, I used to wonder what it'd be like to eat eggs and ham in a car. I used to think like that. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Makes them think they can do anything with green. But you know what? Then I went to Burger King and I got a ham, egg, and cheese croissant. And I hate ham and egg in the car on the way home. Why do they keep cutting off my messages? Do you think they're cutting you off? Or you just don't have your... Your button programmed. Oh, no, no. It's just they've got you brainwashed into thinking you're your own god and you can do anything you want. Now, they do that now. I just recorded a lot of stuff, but the mic turned off. What I've just done was put together this board. It takes the 24-volt AC signals from three regular old air conditioned thermostats and turns on these four relays and it also prevents feedback on the fan motor by having this diode attached to this big ass heat sink it's nearly ready it's at that point where I need to test it you know damn well when you know damn well you can't do anything you want Every Damn well, you can't do anything you want. <clears throat> so why is uh, Sam I am teaching these kids, teaching these kids how to be their own god? Explain that to me. Well, you can't do anything you want, but I still believe you can eat green eggs and ham. In a car, at a bar. Sam is a referral, a reference to Satan. Sam is like example, Uncle Sam, Satan, Lucifer. Uh. 
I always thought Sam was the rep represented the government. Uncle Sam. That's what always came to my mind. When he says, Sam, I am, who else says I am? God does. So what's he pretty much what's he pretty much trying to say? He's trying to say, Sam, I'm God. Huh? Yeah, but look at the overall psychology of it. Sam, I am. Look at the hat on the cat. Look at Uncle Sam and the big hat that he wears. There's a government psychology in those books. Uh, he's saying, Satan, I'm God. Satan, I'm God. He's trying to say that he's trying to tell the readers that he's God, but he's Satan. It's all fucked up, man. They're brainwashing kids to think they're their own gods through Dr. Seuss. I like the truth seeker. Mouse, you ever heard the truth seeker? <laughs> Things just haven't been the same since your father passed away. Your poor mother's been calling you non-stop. Lonely, widowed, and probably horny as hell. Give 1-800-Cheeseman a call. He'll keep your mother busy. I heard she needed a man and her wife. She needed me. She sits there with that bathrobe on her and her diaper farting dust. Alright, so if I hook up the green wire, then those two turn green like they're supposed to. They go back to normal. I hook up the gray wire, then just that one comes on. I hook up just the yellow wire. C1 and 12 fan come on like they're supposed to. And that's on, and stage 3 comes in, and it goes all out. When stage 3 kicks off, it runs full cooling power. It's not supposed to. But she thinks about me a lot. Starting at just $5.99 a minute, Cheese Man will call your mother and keep her off your case. I can hear you got some of the oldies on in the background. What are you watching? Bonanza? Bewitched? Doesn't want to let go of third stage. The Dick Van Dyke Show? It's a small price to pay to keep your mother away. When you took your driver's test, was it on a dinosaur? So, the two transistors aim to ground each other. Don't have a ground reference. I should probably hook that up. All right now, kiddies, let's settle down out here now. Let's settle down now. All right, so now the ungrounded shit is fixed, and the solder bridge is fixed, and the music is fixed. Let's see if the thing is fixed. relays and circuit boards into this thing and see how we can get it to look as ghetto as possible but functional and not going to short out and burn down the place. Thank you. 
That's the control, sitting there, hooked up and running. This thermostat right here actually is controlling it. It's a little bit hard to see. 72 right now. I'm gonna turn it up just to make it turn off and you can hear the fans quit. Now the fan's going slow. It's still running. And these fans have quit. Penis, 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 cock, cock. One eyed trouser, smoke ass, ball sack, penis, penis, ball sack. Find some bangs, find some bangs, next. <laughs> I'm gonna stir your coffee with a penis. <laughs>